Today, significant health inequalities exist right across the UK. Here in Liverpool, there are places that are just a few minutes drive apart where life expectancy can be up to 10 years different. In the Geographic Data Science Lab, we use data proactively to try and dissect the reasons why places might be unhealthy, looking at features of environments like green spaces or air quality, and supporting local authorities and national governments to try and tackle and reduce health inequalities. Recently, we've been working in collaboration with the Liverpool Food Alliance, Feeding Liverpool, addressing health inequalities and in particular, access to food. One in three adults is food insecure in Liverpool and access to good food is poor across the city, but it's worse in some neighbourhoods than others. And the COVID-19 pandemic's exacerbated that inequality, that difference between neighbourhoods. Collaboration with the university is important because we're combining their data with our grassroots local knowledge. Their expertise can help us make wise decisions on the ground. And we're doing that by taking a lot of different policy scenarios, actually modeling those different policy scenarios with local data to better understand how they might impact diet outcomes and food access for the communities here. Maybe not enough fruit and veg shops or not enough community food spaces will have those targeted interventions based on data that means we know where they're needed the most. This work that we're doing in my research and with Feeding Liverpool has the possibility to lead to policy change and outcomes that increase access to good food across the region. It's about improving public health, it's about reducing inequalities and it's about benefiting people's lives. Back in November 2020, Liverpool was tasked with being the first city internationally to trial lateral flow testing. The initial problem we were faced with was how can we test a whole city in Liverpool and to try and reduce some of the health inequalities and inequalities in testing behaviours. The Geographic Data Science Lab gave us detailed spatial analysis that really helped the City Council and the Army to optimise the best locations for test sites and that allowed us to ensure we had maximum uptake and catch COVID-19 cases as early as possible and led to an estimated 24% fewer hospitalizations as a result. So we've continued this support to help Liverpool City Council make the most of its vaccination campaign, improve its coverage and get as many people vaccinated as possible. Our data insights and spatial analyses have been fed up to the Chief Medical Officer and UK Government, which have shaped UK policy around reopening society safely. The research and work of the University of Liverpool has been crucial for ensuring that local public health resources are spent in the most effective way possible, whether it be tackling food insecurity or preventing infectious diseases.